Hello everyone, welcome to Ryan Plays PS4 Games. Um, trying something new today. As you're aware, if you own a Sony platform you and you have PS Plus, you get free games every month. And one issue I have is that I download them all and not try them because they're free and there's other games out there. That's not to say that they're bad, it's just that I never get around to it. So. I'm starting a new series up every month. I'm going to play through the, the, the PS4 titles because I don't own a Vita and it's impossible to, uh, uh, it's very hard to record from a PS3. So let's stick with what we know with the PS4 and play five minutes of each, give you a quick preview, and then hopefully that'll uh, encourage you to go out and try them or, if, or not go out and try them if they're not for you. So the three games are Tower of Guns, Never Alone, and... Arus Awakening. So we're going to do five minutes of each, and we're going to start with Tower of Guns. And I'm going to start the timer. Let's jump right in, shall we? Tower of Guns. Tower of Guns. Tower of Guns. I have not played this game before. I've not played Tower of Guns before. This is all fresh. I haven't actually heard of this game before, so I'm hoping it's good. Um, so, let's jump in. New game. Portable pizza oven loaded with saw blades, not pizzas. Got it. Peas and carrots, pistol, standard issue, choose a better gun. Uh, looks like we can unlock stuff. Let's go with the pizza and choose a perk, triple jump from the start, immune to fall damage. Let's do that. Let's stick with normal as we check out this game. I'm thinking five minutes minimum. Uh, after the five minute mark, we'll just wrap it up from that. Wrap it up. So let's see how this goes. So far. Uh, hi gamer, thanks for buying Tower of Guns. Collecting coins. Hi, strange game. You, a skilled aficionado of fine gaming. Do your best to not get killed. Got it. Ah, hugbots. They're harmless. But Joe's wife made him keep them in. Them in. Joe. So, plenty of drop ups here. I'm assuming the red is to help. Blue appears to be increasing my uh, gun on the side there. Uh, health pickups. Is that increasing my health, maybe? Triple jump. Oh, Alright, let's move on. This way. Uh, so far, the controls feel really wonky. Oh, God. You know what this game feels like it'd be great for? We just want to. Jump in and shoot you. Ow. Feels like it's perfect for that. Gotta collect all my blue shit. Oh, I'm getting walloped. Something. What the hell was that? So it looks like my speed can increase. Let's go. Keep, keep on trucking. Blue gems are weapon power ups. Build up your blue meter to level up your gun. Procedurally generated. Oh. 
this. that pistol again. I wasn't using the pistol. So I unlocked something. Let's go take a look. <sighs> yeah. I wouldn't consider that sound design. I would consider that noise design. That was... It's just annoying. Oh, I unlocked this. Rewarding all styles of play. Consolidation charger. I think that's gonna have to do it for Tower of Guns, because, I mean, I don't know how you get more of a quick look than that. Like, it's tower, a bunch of guns, terrible sound design. Controls are a little funky, I'm not a big fan. Uh, but that's your first PS Plus game for April. Uh, in just a moment, we'll be switching over to Never Alone. And, uh, hopefully that game isn't as noisy as this one, because, man, my head is rattling. So, without further ado, let's switch over to... Never Alone. Alright, next up is Never Alone. Kazima in Ichuana. Uh, this is a game that is not exclusive to PS4. Uh, it was on Steam. That's where I was going to pick it up and then saw that it was available here. And I'm like, sweet. Can't wait to try it. Um, probably guarantee... It's gonna be better than Tower of Guns. Did not dig that game at all. It might be your thing though. All right, we got play, cultural insights, options. What's this cultural insights? Two unlocked. A living people, a living culture. Interesting. One of the things I think a lot of people need to understand is we aren't a museum piece. The Inupiaq people are a living people and a living culture. Even though we're in northern Alaska, which covers this vast area from Nome all the way over the Canadian border, is that there is this extreme value of interconnectedness and interdependence. Awesome. I will watch those later, but now, let us play Never Alone. The Inupiaq are an Alaska native people who are who have thrived for thousands of years in one of the most formidable environments on earth. Learn more about the Inu Inupiat, Inupi I'm pronouncing that wrong, through unlockable cultural insights. One new insight watch. Again, I'll watch those later. As you saw with the preview that we watched, they look like they're well produced, so. I will tell you a very old story. I heard it from Nazrock when I was very young. It is said that a girl lived with her family in a place far from here. Oh, the girl loved to hunt and had grown capable of doing many things. You did it. Oh, so many, so much hunting. You caught a seal. One day, a powerful blizzard approached. It was followed by another blizzard. And another. Oh no. The village was no longer able to hunt. And faced starvation. But the girl wondered. Wondered? 
one wondered, what is causing the weather to be like this? And she set out to find the source of the blizzard. Hmm. Watch Scrimshaw. Two new insights. Again, I will watch those later. I'm really interested in this game. I want to need to get to the meat of it. That's a blizzard, all right. Blizzard was unrelenting. And the girl did not make it far. Oh, no. Graphics look really cool. Before she found herself in real danger. Oh, no. Oh, that looks cool. Run! Ah. Oh, man, this looks fantastic. Jump! Jump! Ah! Ah! You'll never catch me now, sucker! Whoa! Oh! What's that in the distance? And that polar bear is really risking himself. He's almost falling. You'll never catch me. I'm the fastest Alaskan alive. Oh god. This is not good. Oh, ow. Play in co-op mode. Press on a second controller to join as Fox. Press to switch to Fox and sing. That's interesting. So there's a co-op mode. Uh, well, it's just me here, so. see him. Not very good at running and jumping as a fox. Did fine as the Alaskan girl. And you're in the water. And we're protect her. She would have died had she been alone. Oh my, she was lucky to be alive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, see ya. Do, 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 do. This is a super awesome game, guys. The weather did the weather did not clear up as a blizzard was followed by yet another blizzard. Robert Cleveland Nazrak. So again, more insight. I'm gonna have to watch those later, as I keep saying. Let's do one little more segment because I'm actually really digging this game. Um, oh, we'll watch this cutscene, then we'll switch over to the next game. These are supposed to be just quick looks. Oh, man, that fox is a dick. She never told anybody about the fox. He was not ordinary. Cool. Well, if there's ever a game that's a candidate to be have a revisit on uh, Prep in the End, this is it. We're going to switch over to our final game of the PS Plus April preview in just a moment. Uh, next up is Arus Awakening, I think. But uh, yeah. Let's switch over now. And now we have our final game of the PS4 bunch, Arus Awakening. Uh, I'm, I, from what I understand from the preview video, this is made by a group of students that got the game published. Yes, okay. Arus Awakening. Extras, question mark, question mark, question mark. Really hard to tell with them. All right. Ooh. A long, long time ago, our world was beaten, broken, and barren. After eons of endless battles between the four brothers, dawn, day, dusk, and night. With these unending conflicts never yielding a victor, 
Finally, the deities decided to negotiate peace. Mm, okay, An good. agreement was struck where in turns one would rule over the entire mortal lands for a period of time while the others would lay dormant. The lands prospered like never before, free from the destruction of war, celebrating the fortune of peace. But unfortunately, the slightest deviation from their normal waking order would crumble their whole delicate system. The world was held together with gentle transitions. Dawn returned light back into the world after night had covered it with darkness. Day released the script to pass control to dusk. Yet, hmm. even in harmony, protection was desired. Discreetly, one of the four brothers kept hidden a mighty remnant from the war, prepared to call upon his ancient weapon to manage and defend his domain. This is the awakening of Dawn's champion, Aru. Aru. Aru awakening. The ceremony felt abnormal. There was a sense oh. of urgency during the rites, and some were even omitted. Let's stick at move. Once and wait for instructions at the jump. border of my domain. You can jump the grave tone on slopes or slide. I real instantly felt the seriousness of his awakening. Oh wow. This is really weird. This is uh This is really odd. Oh, what's? Uh, oh, I can act. I can look around. This is really cool. Like the, it's like maybe going to be a dual stick shooter. I assume I'll be able to shoot eventually. It's it's like hand drawn. Oh god. Oh god. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh, that's a close one. All right. That's one little portion done. That's pretty neat. New score. The initial clumsy steps. Oh. Gold, 22 seconds? We could do this. Let's do that again. Huh. Huh. Yep. Let's see if we can... I don't know what we get for doing gold, but... If we don't dink around, we should be able to do it a little faster. Eh, well, we tried. Next level. Oh, wow. This is, uh... This is an odd interface. Okay, so that was the first level. How do you know if you've beaten a level? The initial clumsy steps, change and try. So weird. Whoa! Press L1 to charge in the direction of your movement. You can charge in to maneuver in air. Charge also breaks certain walls. Holding, what was it? What was it? It was L1, I thought. Oh, okay. That's really cool. I died. This game is very basic. Neat. I wonder, I wonder how many mechanics they'll bring into the game. And I wonder if I'll ever get gold, because that just seems like a tough cookie to crack. Uh, so I'm trying to determine why there's like... So if it's complete, I guess they have the double dots. Got it. Interesting. This is a cool little game. No, never alone, but... Whoa. Ah! It's 
Kind of like a... Kind of like a Super Meat Boy. Oh, what's happening? Teleport. Press R1 to shoot out an orb in the direction of right stick. Press R2 to teleport to the orb. Shoot an enemy. Teleport within the enemy to destroy. Wow, that's cool. Let's see. Okay. We got this. No, I already know how to do it. Maybe I don't know how to do it. Oh. I'm not very good at this game. Was neat. All right, that seems like an interesting game. Gabriel waited for his master's arrival with great anticipation. Surprisingly, Don appeared in his full form. His presence was captivating. Don addressed his faithful servant. His tone was anxious, lacking its usual calm and serenity. A dark menace unlike anything this world has ever seen is approaching fast from the domain of night. I am unable to reach it, so your time has come. You are to journey through the domains of my brethren and enter Knight's territory to block its source. Aril bowed his head. He needed no convincing. Aril was determined to honor his master and follow his every command. Without hesitation, he stood up and advanced towards the realm of day. Moving away from his master's presence, he heard his voice. Do not expect an easy passage through my brother's territories. They will not welcome you. As Aril traveled towards day's glistening hot wasteland, he focused on the last vision his master had revealed to him. In his vision, Aru saw four temples scattered throughout Day's domain. Destroying them should drain his life force enough to make passage over his lands possible. Aru's vision ended. But wait, that had never happened before. Aru felt a slittering wave of heavy emotions running through him. He needed to make a decision. Aru had never felt so isolated. His master had always guided his every move. But now, story. Decision, but somehow the most difficult task he had ever faced. Which temple should he start with? Hmm. So that is Aru's awakening. It's, it's really hard to tell what I'm clicking on here. So now we've moved into Day's domain. Four towers. And it looks like those four towers will then unlock a boss. The art style is really neat. It's very hand drawn, like almost like concept art a little bit. So yeah, that's uh, Aru's Awakening. And that is also a conclusion of uh, PlayStation uh, Plus's April games. Two to three ain't bad. If I had to recommend you check out, uh, if you're only going to play one, definitely play Never Alone. That game looks fantastic, plays fantastic. It's a very cool concept and probably a, a, 
a setting we've never played before or characters we've explored. Tower of Guns, stay away from that. Me no likey. Uh, Eru's Awakening, very neat, shows promise. Um, again, two out of three ain't bad. So I hope you enjoyed this look at the PS Plus games. If this is something you're interested in, let me know. Again, most of my videos are more are about helping me, helping you, helping me. Because without this, I would not have an excuse to try all three of these, and I'm gonna delete Tower of Guns right after this. I'm sorry, I just do not like it. It might be for you, but I was never a Doom kid, so. Um, Never Alone, fantastic. Pick that up for sure. It's free, worth playing through, uh, worth buying if you don't have a PS4 and you wanna play it, it's on Steam right now. I believe Aru, Aru, Awake, Aru's Awakening is um, PS4 exclusive. No, wait, I think it's on Vita or PS3, I'm not sure. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know if you did, and I'll definitely continue. Um, the, I've been Ryan Murphy. Follow me on Twitter, at rmurphy. Subscribe to The Gamers Inn, where I'm sure we'll talk about one or a few of these games. Uh, maybe I'll just recap what I've said on this video and, and plug the video, but go to gamersinpodcast.com. It's where Jocelyn and I talk about video games every week, including games like Never Alone, probably not like Tower of Guns. We usually only talk about good games. <laughs> uh, sorry, guys, I just really don't like it. Um, and yeah, subscribe on YouTube. Visit my website, ryanmurphy.ca, for more awesome stuff, including podcasts, videos, and website design. But this has been Ryan Plays the PS Plus lineup on PS4. I'll come up with a better title next month. But for now, thank you for watching, and have a fantastic day.